The crystal. Something is wrong. Oh great, this guy. <laughs> we no longer have a choice. Well met. I've not seen you in years. Do you not sense that? What? Huh? Destiny. We are but mere puppets, you and I. As such, we must dance for our master. So, the time is here once again. I can't access all of my powers to weaklings like you. Not that I would need to against weaklings like you. Fabula Pact. How quaint. And the Queen herself invokes it, no less. 
Perhaps Master Teo's words will ring true after all. All Imperial personnel, Special Order 497 has been issued at this time. All military actions, including combat, must be terminated immediately. Due to the ceasefire agreement with Rubrum and Concordia, Special Order 497 has been issued. I repeat. Hmm. Wait! Stop! Militess, Concordia, and Rubrum have invoked the Fabula Pact and agreed to a ceasefire. All those who violate the pact will be executed. Executed? Wait a second. The pact invoked? A ceasefire? And the Dominion actually agreed to it? If we stay and fight, it won't be under Rubrum's banner. Damn it! What the hell is this? The last queens return to oblivion. Sorry to keep you. Effective immediately, you lot have been remanded to my charge. You're safe now. You didn't come all the way to Militess just to confirm our identities and pick us up, did you? Chancellor Kalia is in Militess for negotiations on a long-term truce with the Empire. I am here as his attendant. As I am also your commander, it is my duty to brief you and give you instruction. Commander, permission to speak freely. What is it? The Consortium must have known about our mission. Why would they agree to peace talks? Because the Consortium had no reason to refuse. The Empire offered to make sweeping concessions. But we succeeded in destroying their weapon prototype. They're just trying to stall for time. The Empire made their proposal before you accomplished your mission. We didn't receive word because we were not able to contact you. Does the Consortium honestly believe that the Empire has no ulterior motive? Whatever the other side may have in mind, once the treaty is drawn up and signed, this war will be over. Any further questions? It will be some time before the peace negotiations conclude. I'm sure you're all exhausted from the operation. You may stay the night here and return to Rubrum tomorrow. You are on leave until tomorrow afternoon, with permission to move freely outside the military zone. It's not every day you get to visit the Militesi Imperial capital. Why not take a look around? Yes, we will. Don't forget, you are cadets. Make good use of your time. That is all. There is no need for formalities here. Be at ease. Yes. Indeed. Uh, you are the Queen of... I beg your pardon. I am Andoria Kaya Tronka from Pachuria. I have come to Militess on behalf of Concordia, 
to take part in the negotiations. Wow! Not so loud. Queen of Concordia? Oh, you serious, yo? I didn't think she ever left her castle, hey? I bet only a handful of people outside the kingdom have ever seen her. Your Majesty, what brings you to see us? Yes, I know. Hmm? You oppose the ceasefire. No, I... Uh, yes. I don't think it's right. The Empire invaded Rubrum and defiled our crystal. How can we possibly ally with them now? Your thoughts are at odds with the will of the crystals. But we've sworn fealty to the crystal. And we have never betrayed that oath. How can you say that we're at odds with the crystal? There are friends of mine who inform me of what the crystals are thinking. <sighs> I was chosen by the dragons, and so my heart is united with theirs. The dragons are manifestations of the crystals. Ergo, our hearts are united with the crystals. Are you saying that the crystals want this truce? Look at the full picture. What the crystals wish for is balance among them. A world as it should be. In equilibrium. Certain fates cannot be achieved through bloodshed. If you fail to understand that, then you will bear the burden of Phoenix. And why are you telling us all of this? That is because you, as I have seen it, are the final cogs. Oh. May the path you follow be bright and... Uh. So, why did she come here again? Machina. At the very end, what did the Queen say to you? Well, I'm not really sure. Something about a choice. It didn't make any sense. But what does she mean by balance? Are we supposed to just sit back and do nothing? How are we just supposed to accept that what she says is in fact the will of the crystals? You know, I can't talk to dragons. But if the crystals don't want a war, then what exactly is it that we're fighting for? Goodbye.